In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying rational expressions. Now, don't let the big words uh, and the big name scare you away. If you remember the rules and how we go about multiplying fractions, and you can pull in a few other skills such as factoring and working with uh, variables and powers and things, you're going to be in great shape. So remember, when we're multiplying fractions, we just multiply straight across, top and bottom, numerator and denominator. Then we can simplify stuff. Remember, we can simplify stuff before we multiply, or we can simplify after we multiply. If we can remember all those things, we're going to be in great shape. So let's start with this first one here. Here we've got 9RT to the 5th over 5R to the 4th times 10R squared over 27T. Okay, I could simplify to start with, and as I look at this, I see a 5 and a 10. Well, I can do some simplification here. That 5 becomes a 1, the 10 becomes a 2. Okay, then that 9 and 27, I'd like to get rid of that too. So this becomes a 1, 27 becomes a 3. Okay, and of course that's just we're dividing top and bottom by 9, dividing top and bottom by 5. Then we can look at the variables here, and let's see, we've got uh, an r squared, an r to the 4th, and you know what? Sometimes what I like to do is multiply across with those variables and bring those together first and then simplify that piece because if we start simplifying this and we're can't crossing off the um, exponents and things here, it can get quite confusing in a real big hurry. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and multiply across the top. So I have r times r squared which is going to be r to the third power and then I have that t to the fifth so that's what I've got going on top then on the bottom I have left oops and I've got a two too don't lose that two that's one of the dangers of canceling stuff out is you can easily lose track of it then on the bottom I've got three and then I've got a r to the fourth and a t okay so now I can take a look at these and all the R's are together and the T's are together and it becomes a little bit simpler to do the simplification. So first of all, the number part, two-thirds, can't simplify that any further. So I look at the variables. I've got R to the third and R to the fourth. Well, that really means R times R times R, three of them. And on the bottom I've got four R's being multiplied. So when I cancel that out, I'm going to be left with 1R on the bottom. So let me go down here and write this. So I have 2 thirds, and then I'm going to have 1R left on the bottom here because, again, there's 4 on the bottom, 3 on the top. Then the T's, well, I've got 5 multiplied on top and 1 down here. I can cancel out one of them, so I'm left with 4 T's being multiplied on the top right there. Then look at this one more time anything they have in common nope so I can't simplify any further okay then let's take a look at this one right here now when we have a fraction multiplied by we would often consider this to be like an integer or a whole number is not a fraction we can put that over one okay so then we've got two fractions and as I'm working on this, what I'm going to want to do is factor these things because then that will allow me to see what makes up that binomial and this binomial and see if there's something in common that I might be able to pull out of there. So I'm going to start on the left here. We have 2m over, can we factor this? Anything that those have in common? Well, they both have a 5. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a 5 out. So 5m divided by 5 is m. And then 20 divided by 5 is 4. So plus 4. Okay, so that's what I have here on the left. Then times m squared minus 16. Hmm. That's one of those special things we call a difference of squares. Remember, that's going to factor into two things. The signs will be plus and minus. 
And what squared gets us m squared? Or m squared? Yep. M. M times m. And what squared gets us that 16? 4. Okay. And then I've got 1 on the bottom. Now, remember how we could simplify. Take a look. Is there anything that's both on the top and on the bottom? Well, we've got this m plus 4 thing. So let's cancel that out of here. Anything else? Hmm. I don't see anything else that we can cancel out. So then I just go ahead and multiply across. So then what I have on top is 2m times m minus 4. And on the bottom, I've just got a 5. Now, sometimes we could leave it right here. Or sometimes we can distribute that back through so we get rid of those parentheses. So multiply through that 2m, I'm going to have 2m squared minus 8m. And that's all over 5. Okay, so there we are. That one's multiplied and simplified. Now let's take a look at this last one here. I'm going to switch colors just to make it clear what goes with what. And first thing again that I want to do is go ahead and see if I can't factor some things. I've got a trinomial here, a binomial here. Looks like there's something definitely that ha has in common. So on top I've still got a 2. On the bottom what do I have in common? Let's see. 4, I could take a 4 out of the 8. And there's both of them have m, so I'm going to have 4m that I can pull out of there. 4m squared divided by 4m is going to be just m. And 8m divided by 4m is going to be plus 2. Okay, So I went ahead and I pulled out a 4m there. Then, same story up here on top. I've got a trinomial. And what I'm going to be looking for is factors of 12 that add up to 8. Hmm, are there any? What multiplied gets us 12, but added gets us 8. Got it? 6 times 2, right? So, let's go ahead and remember it's going to break up into two things. Signs are going to be plus and plus because this is plus and that's plus. Plus and plus. First term is m, and then we said 6 and 2. So, doesn't matter which order because they're both plus. Then on the bottom, I've got 6 plus m. Well, notice what's going on here. We've got an m plus 6. Are those the same thing? Yeah, I can flip that around. Okay, now let's take a look at what's going on. What do we have on top and on the bottom that I can clear out of there? I've got an m plus 2 here and an m plus 2 there. Those will cancel out. I've also got an m plus 6 and an m plus 6. Those will cancel out. So then I have 2 over 4m. I can cancel that 2, and I can cancel that 4 to be 2. Okay, now, this is a key part. Sometimes people get a little confused when everything cancels out in the numerator. And remember that there's a 1 there. So it's going to be 1 over, what do we have left in the bottom? Well, I've got 2 times m. This is going to be 1 over 2 times m. Okay, so multiplying rational expressions. Don't let the big words mess you up. Okay, if you know the rules for multiplying fractions, if you can factor, and if you can work with exponents and those variables, you're going to be in great shape. You can definitely do this stuff. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do anything you put your mind to.